Hi everyone, welcome to Ready Channel TV, where you can get the latest information on things happening in your environment. Please subscribe to my channel and press the red button and also press the bell icon for an update on any published news. Wow. It says I was forced to sign the presidential results in favor of APC weakness, weakness tells courts. Mohammed Tata, a witness for the People's Democratic Party PDP at the presidential election tribunal, has alleged that he was forced to sign a copy of the result of the February 2019 presidential election. He also told the court that he was threatened with sack from the hand power scheme, where he is a beneficiary if he does not sign the results. Tata told the tribunal that he reported the threat, but nothing was done to those who forced him to sign the results. The court heard that Tata served as an agent of the PDP in Jigawa State during the presidential election. The presidential election tribunal is looking into the application filed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate Atiku Abubakar, challenging the victory of President Muhammadu Buhari. Why being cross-examined by the lawyer to the Independent National Electoral Commission, Heineck? Yunus Usman, the PDP Tata said, I was harassed and intimidated to sign the result sheet under due race. I was told that if I refused to sign, my name would be removed from the hand power program. According to him, the 700 votes claimed to have been won by Buhari and the APC in his unit could not be proven as there was no score because there was no election. He pointed out that he was a Muslim and believes in destiny, adding that he does not care whether the PDP or APC won the election in his unit. Tata added, All I want is that I need justice in my country. I don't care whether my party won or lost. But I am not happy about what happened. When hacked by the lawyer to the APC, Prince Latif Fagbemi, why he does not mention the names of those that harassed him in a statement on hold? Tata replied that he decided not to mention names for security reasons and for the fact that he still believed he still benefits from the federal government scheme and power. <laughs> as you have heard, as to me, I still believe in destiny. What will be, will be. We don't have to force the government on people. That is my belief. So this is what we have for you today. And what is your own opinion about this? We want to hear from you by putting down your comments below. Thank you.